Welcome back to Make You a Better Public Speaker. Today is lesson 92, and we are talking about why you should incorporate idioms. I can't believe I waited 92 lessons to talk about one of my favorite things. An idiom is a phrase or a figure of speech that you can't take literally. It has a different meaning. And even native English speakers don't really understand what an idiom is, an idiom is until someone explains it to them or they go research it in some way. So in order for you to understand even the English language a little bit better and also make you a better public speaker, you gotta include idioms. And here are three reasons why. Number one, they're enhancing and engaging and they connect with the audience, right? When you use an idiom, again, it's this expression that typically doesn't make any sense. But for example, if you're a motivational speaker and you're telling people they need to think outside the box, that one is a pretty common one. Think outside the box. If you have no idea what English means or English is, and someone says think outside the box, it's the first time you've ever heard it, you're thinking like, I'm not in a box. Why do I need to think outside a box if I'm not in a box? But obviously, it means be more creative, right? So if you kind of use these idioms and place them in the right spots in your presentation, it's going to highlight your key point of being more creative. So enhancing an engagement. Number two, adding color and vivid imagery. Again, your words are a canvas. You are painting a picture for your audience. They need to see what you're saying in their head. So you could say, if you're talking about uh, science or something like that, you would say our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a drop in the bucket. So we are a drop in the bucket. Now, our galaxy is a drop in the bucket. What does that mean? Like, are we taking water? We're water and we're a drop in a bucket? It's not literal. Again, it typically means that we are so tiny compared to the whole entire space and universe. Right? We're insignificant or we're just so small. Pretty sad, actually. We're just a drop in a bucket. But again, we're not literally a drop and we're not we're literally going in a bucket. But used correctly, it's going to add a little color to your whole presentation. And number three, conveying a complex idea simply. All right. So, for example, you could use, this one's a good one, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay. We typically talk about this in finance where don't put all your money in one spot. All right. Don't just put it all at high risk. Spread it out. Diversify. Again, finance money could be a really complex issue or topic. If you can create this simple phrase by taking chicken eggs and saying, don't put all of these here because they're going to break. Don't put all your money here because if the market drops, you lose it all. Put them in different spots. So idioms, they're these colorful little things that have a lot of great ways. And you should go on the internet. Google, can I get 100 idioms? You're going to be surprised about what you learn. And if you're not a native English speaker, idioms are going to help you understand like American TV, UK and Australian TV so much more. And also, if you're trying to do speeches and presentations in English, it's going to make you a better speaker. So go out there, use a couple idioms become a better public speaker. See you next time.